This is our first video on consignment procurement cycle in SAP. This video is about the introduction, the definition of consignment procurement. So what is consignment procurement? That is a process where the supplier, the vendor, provides material to purchaser. Purchaser is our company and store in the premises of the purchaser itself. Ownership of that material lies in the hands of supplier although it is stored in purchaser premises, in our company premises, in our storage location, in our warehouse, in our plant. So consignment procurement take place when you have an uh, arrangement with a vendor that allows the vendor to keep its material on your premises. When the material is issued to your production or stock, you must pay the vendor. In the SAP system, you can settle your consignment liabilities with the vendor on a monthly basis. So what is the business scenario for this consignment procurement cycle in SAP? Consider a car manufacturing company that procures tire from a supplier but keep the stock of tires at the manufacturing plant. In this case, the manufacturing enterprises is liable for payment, uh, for payment only when the tires are issued to production. Until then, the stock is owned by the supplier. The vendor is informed of material withdrawals on a regular basis and the quantity withdrawn is invoiced at the certain time intervals. The most important thing we need to remember when we are doing this consignment procurement cycle in SAP, that is the consignment info record, which is uh, maybe you guys know about the purchase info record. So the most important thing is the consignment info records because you need to define consignment info record to pick the consignment material price and condition during the invoice settlement. In a consignment purchase order, prices are not maintained. At the time of consignment settlement, the prices and conditions are picked are picked up from the consignment info records. This is because invoices are settled periodically and not posted with reference to a purchase order. In the next step, I'm going to show you the picture, the complete process of consignment procurement cycle in SAP. So first, we're going to issue the purchase acquisition. Purchase, uh, purchase acquisition will convert into a purchase order and there we need to select the item category which is K and the purchase order issued to our supplier. And then obviously we're going to receive the goods and we need to store those goods in our storage location. Now once we have this, uh, the goods in our storage location, either we're going to uh, issue those goods for our production and we're going to transfer those goods for unrestricted uh, use of stock. And finally, we need to do the invoice settlement. We need to do the consignment settlement through the uh, through the transaction code which is MRKO and after that we need to do the payment uh, which is done through the financial accounting module. So that is a complete cycle of consignment procurement cycle in SAP. So first what we need to do we need to create a purchase info record which is our consignment info record. Then we, uh, we're going to create a purchase acquisition. Purchase acquisition turns into a purchase order and then we need to receive the goods and once we receive the goods either you're going to issue the goods for production or transfer into our own stock and then finally we need to do the consignment settlement so that is a complete process of consignment procurement cycle in SAP